Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover percent of change, and specifically percentage decrease. We have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now when we calculate a percent of change, we need to find the amount of change, so the new number minus the old number. Then we divide by the old number. Lastly, we multiply by 100. So when we do the amount of change divided by the old number, we're going to get a decimal. We multiply by 100 to convert that decimal to a percent. So let's jump into number one where we have 16 to 19. So we start with a 16 and now we have a nine. So we can see that we have a decrease there. We need to see what percent of change we're working with when we go from 16 to nine. So let's plug in our numbers. And the first thing we need to do is figure out the amount of change. So the new number minus the old. The new number is nine minus the old, which is 16. That's going to give us negative seven. And we got a negative number because we started with 16 and now we have a nine. So that negative represents a decrease. Let's divide by the old number, which is 16. And we need to multiply that by 100. So negative seven divided by 16, that's going to give us negative 4,375 10 thousandths and we multiply that by 100. Before I do that, I do wanna mention that you have to make sure to always divide by the old or original number because that's the number that changed. So we want the percentage change relative to the number we started with. We're looking at the percent that that number changed. All right, let's multiply by 100. Now, when we multiply a decimal by 100, we can just move the decimal twice to the right. So one, two, and we end up with an answer of negative 43.75%. And again, that negative represents a decrease. So we can express this answer in two ways. We can say negative 43.75%, and again, that negative represents a decrease, or we can write, 43.75% decrease. So here is one way to express our answer, and here is the other. So using a negative to represent the decrease or writing decrease out. Let's move on to number two, where we have 40 to 25. So the first thing we need to do, calculate the amount of change. So the new number, 25, minus the old, 40. So we get negative 15. Divide by the old number of 40, and then we multiply by 100 to convert it to a percent. Remember, always divide by the old number. So negative 15 divided by 40 is going to give us negative 375 thousandths. Multiply that by 100. So move the decimal twice to the right, one, two. And we end up with negative 37.5% or negative 37 and a half percent. So let's express it in our two different ways to show our final answer. We can say negative 37.5%, that negative represents a decrease. So this would be one way. Or we can write it out as 37 0.5% decrease. And there you have it. There's how you show a percent of change and we specifically worked with percentage decrease. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.